<laughs> Ask. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying something about it being a place where people can come and like inquire. Yeah, so, and... you know, look, I served 16 years in Congress and it was a place where people would uh, draw battle lines. And right. I got tired of that. I wanted to create a place that would be of value to the community. Uh, we have books that are conservative. We have books that are progressive. We have books in the middle. And I just wanted to create a, a platform for respectful discourse in the pursuit of curiosity and a place that is just serving the community in which I live. I love it. I love it. And it's, and it's amazing. you got you got world history. You've got American yeah. history. This you've got Hannah. current affairs. Hannah is stopping Hi, Hannah. current affairs. <laughs> so um, one of the great values, or not just values, but good fortunes that I had is that we opened after the book review in Huntington closed. And so I was able to get uh, Hannah and her colleagues at the book review uh, and, and give them a place to work and, awesome. and take advantage of their amazing talents. They know more about books than anybody I know. Uh, and now they work here. So it was just, meant, I feel it was meant to be. I love it. I, it's, it's almost like book review has has almost exploded <laughs> into like there are these little stars flying yeah, out. Yeah, that's a very know? that's a very good way of putting it. That's a very good way. Did of they have it. to do it? Because I saw the staff recommendations mm -hmm. over there, and all of a sudden I felt like like what I've been missing so much since book review closed. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a little piece of that over there. So what? I can't get over Carson. We've become kind of a. It's, it's a family bookstore, but we're a family. Right. Uh, and so everybody here, myself included, we have our own areas of interest, our own expertise. Uh, so I'm in charge of curating history and current affairs, world history, American history. We have somebody who worked at the book review who's in charge of curating our children's section. Um, we have somebody who's an expert at romance, somebody who's an expert at spy thrillers. And so everybody brings their own expertise in this family of booksellers. So when somebody walks in looking for a recommendation, we have all the people assembled who can make those recommendations. I actually had someone, because they were listening to us talk, and she snuck up behind me. She's like, I hope you don't mind me eavesdropping, but I can show yeah. you this, and I can show you that, and if there's anything else, and I, yeah. I just, it made me, makes my heart sing. It's say. so wonderful. You know, and I'm, I'm used to just, you know, giving speeches on the floor of the house that are called one minute speeches. That's what they're called. Right. You, you have one minute to, to make a speech. I'm used to going on MSNBC or Fox or CNN and knowing I have 20 seconds for a soundbite. But now I get to gab about books all day long with people. And I, it's just so fulfilling. It's, it's serving in Congress was the greatest privilege of my life. But this is the greatest professional pleasure that I've ever had. That's awesome. Thank you, Steve. Sure, you bet.